something different. Honda, my sister-in-law's. It's a 2018. You hear that knock? It's driving her around the bend. I don't normally touch too many people's cars in too many circumstances, but there's a reason I'm doing this job. I'll give you the details at the end of the video. I'll start the clock to see how long it takes me to do this. Honda says it's the rear shocks. I've taken a look at it. It does in fact seem to be the rear shocks, the rear dampers on the car. So uh, I'll, get, I'll show you the details as usual. Uh, I'll give you the torque specs and whatnot. Very straightforward, you know. I'll show you some details as I lift the vehicle, guys, and extract them. Basically, it's a nut on the top, right? And, uh, of course, a bolt on the bottom. And uh, the stroke come up. Pretty simple. Okay, so, our chuck there, guys, under the axle stands. This is not doing it, and this is just here as a safety. It's not under any load at all, as you can see. So, the manual. Turn that off so you can hear me. Uh, lift the vehicle, remove the rear wheels. Uh, go ahead, remove them if you wish. Seems to be plenty of access there to me where the wheels actually in situ. Lower side of the damper. So dealing with this bolt first. So I'm just gonna go under, clean it up from the corrosion and uh, slack it. And it tells you to put uh, uh, under the saddle, spring saddle, put the floor jack to just take the pressure off. Don't place it, place it under the central axle, just under the saddle for the spring. Spring seat, raise the floor jack until the suspension begins to compress, remove the damping bolt. Your choice of penetrating oil, same old, same old boys. And as a part of the manual, we'll uh, put the jack under the spring saddle there, spring seat, take a wee bit of load off it, undo the bolt. No load on that. So the damper, the upper side. Here you can see what's involved. So it's an internal wrenching hex. Figure out what size that is and I'll let you know, fellas. So you can see here's the stack. So we'll take this off. So again, you can see there, internal wrenching. So you can hold it with an Allen key, spinning it off. There's the stack. So I've kept that stack in order so you can see it in reality. The nut, the spring washer, the, what do they call it? Damper mount washer and the damper mounting urethane. So drawing and then reality. So again, there's the uh, drawing there, guys. There's this actually all pulled apart. It all pretty much stayed in situ. I'm going to clean this up, but you can see uh, these two components are clearly still in situ. You can see that actually coming through the top side as well. The uh, rubber neoprene bushing there and the steel bushing inside. I'll leave that as is. So this is the lower dust cover. I think you can see, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up here, guys. You see that? That, of course, is the issue. It's leaking, right? I'm uh, pretty certain that's what's causing the noise. All right, I'll clean all this up. We'll put it back together. So I thought I'd bear separate the uh, the upper from the lower uh, dust cover here, just in the interest of getting a look at this, make sure it's no decrepit. But the car's only four, three and a half years old; it's still in good shape. So I'm not going to disassemble this. I'm happy enough with this. So here's the new damper, guys. There's a part number, KBY product made in Japan. These were hundred dollars American. Uh, so converting them to uh, for both of them. Uh, converting them the currency to Canadian and the shipping cost me $160 to the door toll so the dust covers and bumper stops and everything back in uh, uh, reverse order of course there guys I'm just going to slip that up in position I've uh, put a wee bit of Loctite or sorry no Loctite uh, anti uh, seize on the uh, on the shank of the bolt because I'm reusing the bolt a wee bit of Loctite on the threads uh, yeah, and we'll put, of course, a new nut. Raise the suspension with the jack until it just begins to lift off the safety stance. So be careful with what you're doing here, obviously, guys. Use your discretion when you think. I think that's a bit stupid, that procedure, but I've got multiple jack stands under here. I'm okay with it. And then tighten to the specified torque, which we saw earlier. 
is 40 foot pounds. One wee item I should have pointed out here, guys, that's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, make sure the damper washer here, the one that's below the nut and the, the spring washer, the log washer, uh, is oriented in this manner here. It's kind of counterintuitive, but I kept the stack as from the factory. This is how it sits. You might be inclined to think it sits like that, so it keeps the, the bushing centralized, but it actually specifies in the manual this orientation. Okay, there's very little run on torque here, guys, so the, the Allen key will comfortably sit there. So it's just starting Again, to snug if you up. Keep your crow's foot at 90 degrees from the wrench itself. There is uh, no calculation required. The correction factor is uh, zero. So. Again, I'm going to do this with one hand here, guys. Sorry, I realize you can't see nothing. But I think you can hear it. That's it. 15 First side down. took me, in all honesty, Probably 45 minutes to figure out the drawing, get everything, you know, jack stands and whatnot. Second side, maybe 20 minutes. So, for a dealership to do this, now keep in mind, we're talking about per side, one bolt and one nut, right? And getting the stack correct, torquing it up. So, what, an hour labor, realistically? You know, there's always the off chance you can run into of broken bolt or anything like that but assuming that you're dealing with a 2018 car in reasonable condition i think an hour would be realistic so let me show you what honda actually wanted to charge my sister-in-law who owns this vehicle let me show you how much they wanted the charger for this All right so you make up your mind whether that is a reasonable amount of money or not for the parts granted the parts here were $160 so even double it for uh, you know OEM shocks let's be generous with them and an hour's labor my still doesn't work out in my mind but anyway I'll leave that up to you guys whether you think the job is uh, worth doing yourself or not it's very simple on a mechanical aptitude scale very very simple indeed scale of 1 to 10 a 2 you know some Tooling might be an issue for you, torque wrenches or whatever, but it's certainly no difficult. That's it, boys. I didn't want to turn this into a bitch session, but I thought that was a bit... That was a bit off-site. Cheers.